I got to looking at the video from last week and I realized we, I never, never showed you these little uh, trap doors working. They, uh, they work good. The hatchet's ready. Well, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 120. Uh, today we're going to be making some kitchen cabinet doors. Uh, a friend of mine has sort of a, a, a country style a decor in the uh, kitchen and has painted uh, painted cabinets and painted cabinet doors but uh, six of them have uh, six of the uh, his cabinet doors have uh, a bit the uh, dust so today we're going to try to make some uh, cabinet doors so let's knock off the chit chat and get to work we're going to make a total of six doors uh, we're going to make three of them that are 16 inches uh, across wide and we're going to make three that are 12 inches across this is a picture I came across on the internet it's kind of consistent with the style of doors he has kind of butt joints up here in the corner that go straight through and this beadboard as a backer uh, let's go look at the uh, prototype this is the first uh, prototype I came up with it's got the beadboard, and I tried to put those butt joints in there, but I had to mortise out a section right here for that butt joint to come together because there's a shiplap joint on the other side, and I didn't like that. So we're not going with this one. The design we're going to go with, we still have the uh, beadboard in the, in the center there, and these will be painted white, by the way. Uh, but instead of putting the uh, butt joint in the uh, through here, uh, we're just going to we're going to put a mitis, a uh, miter joint here. Uh, that'll work a lot better with the shit with the uh, dado that's uh, under underneath this uh, wood here. We're using uh, this ship lap uh, paneling. Uh, for our stock. It's called shiplap because on the end here it has a it has a uh, rabbit cut into both uh, opposite uh, sides so that the boards will paneling will overlap. Here's what I mean by overlapping. You see that these the boards here have that uh, rabbit on e either side and they'll overlap like that and so you, you make that nice tight joint and the beauty of that on uh, paneling is that if the wood expands or contracts a little bit on your wall it doesn't leave a it doesn't leave a gap okay the first thing we got to do is cut our stock uh, this would be three and one eighth inch stock and it'll all be three and one eighth. Now in addition to the rabbits on opposite sides of the stock it also has this little gluing dado that's only about a sixteenth of an inch deep right in the center and I'm actually going to use that little dado which we're going to turn into a rabbit to recess my hinges but I want that dado there and the dado we're going to be putting the um, beadboard in to be on the same side so when I measure this to cut it I want to measure it this way three and one eighth inches not this way because okay there's the piece we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing this the uh, vertical piece with a uh, with a miter cut 45 degree angle right across there now the only uh, tricky part here is I got to make sure that those angles correspond with the dados that are or the rabbits that are on the other side so I just got to make sure I get that done with uh, butt joints like the joints on this uh, wood cabinet here in order to get the distance 
the width you want of the door, you have to do a little ciphering to take in account the uh, width of this side and the width of that side and subtract that from the total width you want and that gives you the uh, that gives you the length of your butt joint. But with with uh, minor joints, all you have to do is make sure that your that your the length of your piece at the top here, at the top of the miter, is the distance or the dimension you want for the door. Okay, here I'm cutting the 12 inch boards. We got the uh, stock all cut. Next thing I'm gonna do is put those uh, those uh, pocket screws in there. Uh, the only tricky part is that they got to be put in there at an angle and they got to be put in so they don't interfere with this uh, dado. Like this one here is really close. Here's an example. They'll go in like that uh, and you can see it's far away from this uh, uh, rabbit down there. Now this one here is pretty close. It's closer but it'll still miss the rabbit. So I don't want that screw to come into the rabbit here. Back over here on the prototype, um, I got the frames all done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little rounded over edge on the inside here and on the outside all the way around. I got the frames done, and now we need to put the... Uh, the uh, bead board down in this uh, rabbit. What I'm doing here is installing the uh, the bead board. I'll be holding it in with uh, both glue and staples. The uh, bead board is three quarter, I mean uh, three eighths inch exterior plywood. And that's I'll be having a face right there. But this is a three quarter inch deep or three eighths inch deep rabbit around here. And so it fits in place and is perfectly flush. So that's pretty cool. There's our uh, six doors. I'll uh, let the glue dry just a little bit and then we'll put some paint on them. Put a, a coat of, uh, of primer on and then I put our first coat of uh, enamel on here and I let it sit overnight. I let it sit overnight so that it would turn, get nice and dry and then I'll smooth it out with some sandpaper. Started out with a, a coat of this uh, Kills Original Primer Sealer and Stain Blocker. Uh, this is the heavy duty stuff here. It's oil based. It get really good coverage with it. And then I'm finishing it with uh, two coats of uh, the uh, cabinet enamel. 
this is this is is uh, oil based I mean it's a uh, water based but it claims it's oil enriched whatever that means but anyway it's specifically made for cabinets so it's even got pictures of the actual cabinet doors we're making here that was a pain in the butt going around sanding and sanding all these uh, doors but by sanding it the uh, I now have a, a real nice flat smooth surface to put my final coat down I don't really like to paint I'm not sure anybody does but if if you're going to paint, this is the easiest way to do it. Having your, whatever you're painting up on a bench, slaying horizontal. Easy to get to, you don't have to crawl around like a monkey. Well, I got my B-52 drying system in place. They'll dry pretty fast. Um, they say in an hour. I'll do some clean up around the shop and we'll put some uh, hardware on these puppies. Remember when I said uh, we're going to use this uh, dado here and we're going to turn it into a rabbit and that's what we did uh, the this little rabbit right along this edge right here is what's going to recess the uh, hinges and what I do is Got all the hinges on. What I'm doing now is uh, drilling the hole for uh, put the door knobs on, and made a jig for that because I I want to make sure that all the knobs are in exactly the same place. Really is about drum roll time, isn't it? I'll uh, go ahead and put the rest of these knobs on and we'll uh, take a look at them. Well, here's our little supply of doors. Came out pretty nice. Got these uh, nice stainless steel self closing hinges. Some nice little knobs beadboard, uh, mitered corners, uh, came out uh, with some good uh, cabinet paint, so I think they uh, came out pretty good. Close up of our work. Well, I guess that'll do it for another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 120, uh, making the uh, kitchen cabinet doors, the uh, white painted doors. Got uh, beadboard on the front, across here, 
solid wood around here with the mitered corners, uh, self-closing hinges, uh, and some good cabinet paint. So I think uh, overall, it went pretty well. Can't think of anything else. Make sure you like and favorite and shell share and comment and tweet and Facebook and all that other stuff you do on the internet. But most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.